What's happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, and guess what? We got another Top Knives video for you. Today, I'm sure you read the title, saw the thumbnail, Top Victorinox Knives. Now, just so you know, I kept it to five this time. Yes, I kept it to five, Greg. So, we have five, top five, Victorinox knives. Now, like I've said before, this is not necessarily top in sales. This is not necessarily top, uh, like, best performing. This is uh, kind of, in general, best overall sales, popularity, what we see on the internet, um, and what people like the most, um, and what gets gone the quickest. So, um, we've got five Victorinox right here. We're going to go over them here in just a minute. The attributes, what they all have to offer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, there's going to be something that you're not going to like on this list. That's just the way it goes. What we want you to do, though, is if there's something that you would have rather seen on this list as opposed to one of these, we want you to go in the comments down below. Tell us what your favorite Victorinox is. All right? That's what we want to hear. Now, without further ado, let's light it up. So, top Victorinox knives, and this was not easy, all right? Um, some of my favorites did not make this list. Uh, I guarantee you some of your favorites might not have made this list. We're going to see, though. So, first up, I'm going to go ahead and go with the classic Huntsman. Now, this one is extremely popular. This is my personal right here. Uh, I absolutely love the Huntsman for a lot of different reasons. Um, and we're going to go over all of those reasons. But the Huntsman has been around for a very long time. And uh, it stands to reason why, because it is a great overall tool. Now, over the years, some people have thought it too bulky and uh, wanted to slim down. So that's why a lot of other models have come about, like the Climber, um, the Hiker, all of those, um, because, you know, people wanted, you know, some tools didn't want others. So I think, and th to me personally, this is a great pack knife. Um, this one I keep with me when I'm going hiking, when I'm going out into the woods, because it is a phenomenal do it all knife for me. And I really dig it. Let's take a look at that one up close right now. So this is the Swiss Army Huntsman in red. We've got these in black. You can also get them in their Year of series that they come out with every year. Um, special editions, different colors, all that kind of stuff. And I really dig the Huntsman. Now, the Huntsman features its main blade being a 2.5 inch spear point stainless steel Swiss made blade. And it also has the 1.5 inch pin blade both with mirror polish finishes and a blade thickness of one sixteenth of an inch. Super, super slicey. And uh, I keep these puppies sharp, absolutely sharp. And uh, these come in with the ABS plastic handles right there. That's just classic what you're going to get uh, on these, these knives. And this one's coming in with 13 different tools. Now we're going to go over each one individually right there. Now, in addition to those blades, which are the first two tools right there, one of the most uh, useful tools on this uh, that I always like to keep with me is going to be the saw. And you can see that I've actually I've, I've used this one uh, a decent amount here. Um, really dig having the saw in there. It really makes processing wood, um, especially if you're uh, making stuff for camp, um, a lot, a lot easier. Uh, really dig having that saw blade right there. Also, another tool that I absolutely love, and you've heard me talk about this uh, ad nauseum, um, but is going to be the uh, scissors right there. And you don't realize how much you have a use for scissors on a multi-tool like this until you actually have them to use and you realize how often you use them. I think scissors are an invaluable tool that are uh, extremely useful and uh, really love having the scissors on there. Close that up. This side, we've got the bottle opener with the flathead screwdriver and the wire stripper right there built into that. 
on this side, we're going to have the can opener right there on that side with the smaller flathead screwdriver on it. You're also going to have the key ring. Now on this side, and this is another very valuable tool, is going to be the awl. And uh, it's really handy to have an awl like this, especially in this configuration, because you use it like a T-handle right there. And uh, that gives you a lot more force that you can put behind that when you're punching through things like leather or something like that. Um, very, very valuable tool right there to have. Another one that is not used so much here in the States, but is definitely used in other places around the world quite a bit on these Swiss Army knives is going to be the hook, the carry hook right there. And that's a very valuable tool, especially having it, like I said, with the awl in this configuration so that you can use it like a T-handle right there. Super valuable. Now, one of the tools that people say a lot that they don't need or is uh, not useful on this is going to be the corkscrew. Um, now, you'll notice that I have a little bit different configuration right here. I like having the corkscrew on these. Um, main reason being is uh, I have been on vacation before and had a bottle of wine and didn't have a way to open it. Corkscrew comes in handy because, um, I mean, I had to go back to the grocery store and buy a corkscrew um, to actually get that bottle of wine open. So corkscrew is very handy to have in a circumstance like that. I actually have it as a means of storage on this knife. So you'll notice I've got a couple of different things here, and uh, these are things that we actually have available in the store as well. So that is a ferro rod right there, and this is a tinder bundle right there a wax tinder bundle. Um, so you've got a fire starter and you've got tinder right there stored inside, not taking up any actual real estate on this tool that is going to be used super often. Now we've also got the uh, tools that you can store in here too. It has like the eyeglass repair kit. So you've got like the really small, the tiny uh, Phillips head screwdriver, torque screwdriver, and flatheads um, that you can also put in here making that another very valuable storage uh, device right there. In addition to all these tools, you've also got the toothpick and you've got the tweezers. Now, these are definitely the most lost pieces on a Swiss Army knife, um, which is fine because you can now buy these separate and you can actually color coordinate them too because a lot of people like to you know, color coordinate and uh, customize their stuff. That's a great way of doing that. Now, this is coming in at forty four ninety nine, and uh, that's a great value for a tool right there that is extremely, extremely useful. Moving right on down the line. Now, that's that's one of the most classic designs right there. Now, next up, we're going to be probably I would say um, one of the most popular uh, as far as a. Um, bug out bag survival tool and that's going to be the farmer pattern um, so this is one of the patterns that come along uh, because people wanted to do away with the uh, tools that they didn't need the tools that they, they didn't use that often so this was one of those patterns that come along that eliminated some of the less useful tools that people didn't want as much and just kept the stuff that people wanted to keep on there. So let's take a look at that Farmer X pattern right there, up close and personal. So this is going to be the Victorinox Swiss Army Farmer X Alox. Coming in at $69.99. Now, it's going to be a little bit more because of the Alox handles. And if you haven't had one of these Swiss Army knives, one of these Victorinox with the Alox handles, it really puts um, functionality and durability on a whole nother level. Um, and they feel great in the hand. They've got a nice texture to them, and they are definitely really, really durable. And so this one's coming in with the 2.75-inch spear point stainless steel blade right there, blade thickness of 1 16th of an inch, super, super slicey, really nice walk and talk. That sucker snapped nice right there. So that's going to be the main blade right there. You've also got right next to that the awl, which is also sharpened right there. Very useful tool for when you need to punch holes in something, need to ream something, a nice reamer right there. Also, with the scissors, and again, like I said, 
until you've actually carried a pair of scissors on your EDC, on your person, you don't realize how much of a use for scissors you have until you actually have them. And then I promise you, you will not want to not have scissors with you any other time. Also coming in with the saw, which is another very useful tool. That's why I say this is one of the most popular for survival. This is a, a, a favorite pattern of uh, Shane Adams from uh, SE Knives. This is one of his favorite patterns in uh, the Victorinox line right there. And uh, for good reason, too. Now, this one's also coming in with the bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, large flathead screwdriver, and the wire stripper right there. And also coming in with the can opener on the other side. This one's also coming in with that keychain right there. Fantastic pattern. Love the ALOX handles. And like I said, that one's coming in at $69.99. Now, from there, we're going to get into the smaller patterns. And by far, uh, two of the best sellers that we carry have been, and, and this has been acknowledged, two of the best sellers in general are the Tinker and the classic SD patterns, um, mainly because these are much slimmer, much smaller profile. We're going to take a look at each one of these individually, looking at the Tinker first. Let's take a look at that one up close. Now, this one is our exclusive Trash Panda Tinker right there. Been extremely popular. And this is a really cool knife. Coming in at $31.99. And that's going to be the price point for all of our exclusives with our exclusive artwork on it. You'll see the Trash Panda right there. That's a raccoon. We realize that. That's also in pop culture what we call a Trash Panda. In case anyone is wondering or upset about that. Um, and then on the back side, you'll see the tracks leading away with the banana peel and our smkw.com logo right there. Um, now, the Trash Panda is $31.99 coming in with the 2.625 inch spear point stainless steel blade and the 1.5 inch pin blade right there on the opposing side. Super, super sharp. These are also coming in with the can opener and the bottle opener and wire strippers right there. Now, we just flip it over on the other side. You've got the Phillips head screwdriver right there. And you've got the all reaming tool right there. So all of those tools right there, 10 tools in one. You've also got the uh, keychain right there and the tweezers and the toothpick right there. Also very valuable tools, uh, just like on the others with the... Uh, with the scissors. Very valuable tools. You don't realize how handy those are until you actually carry a knife with those every day and realize how often you use those. Um, and for all those reasons and the affordability and the customizability, that's why these tinkers are so insanely popular. And you can pick these up very cheap and they are super useful and they hold up really well. So, that's why the Tinker is so very popular, along with the Classic SD. Now, this one's dressed up a little bit. We've got the Classic SD along with the Tinker in all of our uh, exclusive patterns. But I also wanted to show off one of these ALOX ones in the colors scheme uh, that uh, Victorinox came out with last year. And we've got a full display with all the different colors. Um, absolutely beautiful rainbow collection. And we've got them with the... Um, Solid plastic handles with the translucent handles as well as with the ALOX handles right here. And I think they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, so let's take a look at these up close now and go over the specs on those. Now this is the Victorinox Classic SD ALOX and this is in the lime twist color. Uh, really cool color. I, I, got, I picked this one out because I really love the color on this and I uh, think it just pops really nice. These are coming in with the ALOX $29.99. Now um, with the exclusive patterns, they're coming in at $21.99 and with the classic handles, the solid plastic handles coming in at $19.99. 
And uh, this one features a one and a half inch pin blade right there. Stainless steel with the mirror polish finish and a blade thickness of one sixteenth of an inch. And has the nail neck slip joint. It is Lime Twist Alox handles and coming in with four tools. So it's got the blade. It's also got the nail file right there with the flathead screwdriver on the end. Flip it over there. And you're also going to have the scissors, which I think is fantastic. I love having scissors like this, especially in such a small package. And then it's also going to have the key ring right there. Now, that's what I love about this. As far as I'm concerned, the other patterns with the key ring, I, I think they're a little bit too big and bulky. I like to, I like to keep my keychain a little bit more simplified. This pattern, though, is legitimately one that you can put on a key ring and it not be obtrusive. It's just going to disappear. Look at how thin that is. Now, when you're talking weight, you're talking extremely lightweight on this one. Um, I mean, you're talking around an ounce. I mean, not much weight at all, especially with those Alox handles. And uh, I think that's fantastic. The Alox handles actually cut down on the width as well and make this a phenomenal EDC to go on a keychain. Um, super unobtrusive and very, very handy to have. Now, that leaves one on the list. One more. Can you guess what it is? Go ahead and put it in the comments down below. See if you can guess what that last one is. Got it? Got it locked in? This was one that I was very surprised at. And this has been one of our best sellers, and that's why we included it on this list. But that's going to be the Nail Clip 580. This has been one of the most popular um, because people like having nail clippers. And I understand why. It, it goes back to the same reason as scissors because you can use nail clippers for the same thing that you use scissors for. You can use them to trim uh, stray, you know, little twine and stuff. And what are you doing? Yes, yes, they are also handy to keep around for fishing rods. Um, so you can use them to cut your line. That's absolutely what I've always kept in my tackle box is a pair of nail clippers. Um, and, I mean, they're just really, really handy to have. Let's take a look at this nail clip 580 up close and go over the specs on that one. So this is a Victorinox camouflage nail clip 580 coming in at $42 even. And this one is coming in with eight total functions and weighs in at just 1.3 ounces. Super, super lightweight. Now, it is a little bit thicker because you've got the, the nail clippers in there. But let's take a look at all of these different tools. So you've got the one and a half inch pin blade right there, just like the classic SD. You've also got the nail file right there, the spear point nail file, not sharpened. And then, of course, you've got to talk about the actual nail clippers themselves. So they fold out like that, fold that around, and you're ready to go to town. Now, like I said, um, you can clip stray string with this that's on your clothing. Uh, you can clip your uh, fishing line. Um, you can clip your nails, obviously. That's, uh, that's what they're designed for. Um, but nail clippers are insanely useful tool right there. Now, this one's also going to have... Now, this is the locking mechanism, and this is really cool. A lot of people don't realize this. So when you push these in, they're automatically going to lock inside. And what you have to do to get them out is pull that back right there. It's going to push the nail clippers out. Just push them out. When you go back in, it's going to automatically lock them in place. That way they don't accidentally deploy, um, and you don't end up cutting yourself. Also coming in with the tweezers and the toothpick right there. Um, just like many other Victorinox models, and coming with the keychain. Now, this one, it's a little bit thick for me to put on a keychain, but I can definitely see where this would actually be okay. It's going to be smaller than your normal key fob, um, so I, I can definitely see where this would be um, not too terrible to put on a keychain uh, and work out really great. Like I said, coming in at $42, and uh, that's going to be our last entry on our top five Victorinox knives. Now, like I said... If there's something from Victorinox that you would have rather seen on this list, let us know in the comments down below. Would you have rather seen a hunter? 
Um, they've got all kinds of different models and not just these pocket knife multi-tools. They've also got the uh, plier multi-tools as well. So let us know in the comments down below what you would have liked to have seen on this list if there's something else you would have put on here besides the one that we showed. Um, they've got all kind. Of, they've got the floral knives, which are extremely popular. Uh, the equestrian tool. They've got the rescue tool. All kinds of different tools. So let us know in the comments down below, folks. As always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And remember, if it cuts like a Victorinox, then we carry. She's a brick, na 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 house, na na na. She mighty mighty, just letting it all hang out. She's, she's a brick. Hey, I'm getting ready to piss some people off today. Nope, it's just a normal Tuesday for me. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm gonna start that part over. Could you get the can? Can can can?